Welcome everyone, this is Alex Burke from the Salem Museum and Historical Society. And for this week's episode of White Glove Wednesday, we're here to take a look at the artifact right behind me. And as you can guess it, this is a carousel horse from Lakeside Amusement Park. And throughout the museum, we actually have two of these on display. We have one up here in our Lakeside Gallery on the third floor, while the second one is on display in our basement. These are really interesting because when Lakeside was planned in 1919, they weren't actually supposed to happen. Lakeside was originally planned as a general pleasure resort, meaning that there would be a hotel and a swimming pool and a dance facility for visitors to come to actually stay at the hotel. But after Lakeside opened up in June of July of 1922, they realized that the pool was the mayoral moneymaker in this whole equation. So they quickly scrapped the general pleasure resort and made Lakeside Amusement Park. But after a few years, park management realized if they wanted to make more money, they needed to add different attractions for people who simply just didn't want to sit in the pool all day. So they created a roller coaster and a carousel. And these, this is one of the original carousel horses from the 1920s. And these uh, sat over Lakeside for five decades, seeing all sorts of different improvements, different rides added, and leadership changes. They stayed all the way until 1972 when they were finally retired and replaced with modern fiberglass ones. They were moved to the back of the dance hall where they stood for several years up until the late 1970s when a crime unthinkable of happening to Lakeside happened for the first time in decades possibly. Horse thieves. In the, in the, late, in the evening of some night in the 1970s, thieves broke into the park found the carousel horses, boarded them onto a lakeside truck, and drove off undetected. After park leadership came in the next day and realized what had happened, they notified the police and the local media, and it's, the story spread like wildfire. The thieves were never, ultimately never caught, but they must have realized they had some heat coming on, because they soon dumped the carousel horses into an abandoned field in Franklin County and ran away. And after they were discovered, the carousel horses were returned to Lake's greener pastures at Lakeside. But that's going to conclude it, everyone, for this week's episode. Thank you all so much for tuning in. This was Alex Burke from the Salem Museum and Historical Society. I'll see you next time.